Thank you so much, Riv. And unfortunately, I think Tactabear took too much croupium and we had to cut him off. But that is the world we live in where Loud once again defies the odds and finds a way to pull out a 2-1 win despite losing map one. Welcome back, Golden Boy here alongside with Mimi and Sean. As, as it really, it, it is awesome to just see this Loud team. Also great to see Fraud always, but it's just great to see this Loud team just when you think that they have found themselves in a rut they pulled themselves out of it. Mimi, it's incredible. It's incredible. Seriously, three games in a row <laughs> where it's the exact same thing. You lose map one in dominant fashion for your opponent. Can't Barely scrape with by this. in map two with Oswest <laughs> popping off. And then pull things out on the third map. The ability for this squad to keep their mental steady, to come back in the middle of series, it, it's insane. I know they didn't win lock-in, but they just have the fight of a champion in them. Like they, it is very, very hard to beat Loud in a best of three because of this. You know, even on a day where they don't bring their A game or they don't wake up and, you know, get the right warm up in or have the right breakfast, they're still gonna destroy you later on in the series when they warm up. And it is going to be a very hard fought series for whoever beats them. Like Fnatic, for example, at lock-in, they really had to earn that win. And it still remains where they've only lost to three orgs, like, yeah. you know, Crew, Optic, and, and Fnatic. Those are yeah. the only ones. And that just shows, you know, how deep this team is and how, how on top of metas they are. Think about all the metas we've gone through. This yeah. team is so just many. so impressive. <laughs> I mean, they were the best team in the chamber meta, arguably kind of next to Optic there, won a tournament there. They're, coming championship. Into this they're the one who's defining the Harbor Viper meta, yep. and they're still willing to innovate and try new things. It's an incredible journey for Loud. Yeah, it, it, it truly is. This is a, a very competitive season that we've been treated to uh, across all the regions, to be completely honest with you. It's been excellent. But really, when you think about that series, and you look at stats, there's one, one player in particular who kind of really rode the flow of this series, and that's Tui's, because it starts off with him really just struggling early on. I Three believe, kills. yeah, they were on Pearl, and he was, what, 3-17 and 17 to start. Yeah, that's a map that typically he has a lot of impact with his util, but, I mean, you have to put up more kills than that, so it's just... Super telling that a player like Tui is new to this team, very inexperienced on the international yeah. level, can bounce back like that deep in a yes. series. Because we only give credit to Ospus and, and maybe Sadak for doing those things. But it's actually happening to the newer players that Lada has added to the team as well. Yeah. And you could see it on his face, right? Once they were down after his struggles, he dialed in. He was so focused for that final map and stepped up his performance incredibly. We forget about this a lot because Loud is so good, but four out of five of the players on this team are under 20. It is all super young, super new players. Yeah. You don't have anyone who's like a CS veteran, who's been playing Valorant since release, who's been on top in esports for ages. They don't really have that player, but yeah. they still have that mental resiliency when series get hard to come Come back to rally their individual gameplay and also to stick to the game plan. Yeah. It is truly incredible what Loud can do. Yeah, I, I really do love like just how different we have for all these teams, you know, whether it's energy with the veterans or, or even, you know, uh, uh, Sentinels as well. But then you look at Loud and you have youth on that team. And it's just what they've managed to build on Loud is, is nothing short of remarkable. And they definitely deserve that win today. And speaking of wins, let's go ahead and take a look at our standings. See where we are right now because Loud have officially locked it in. Now, I've tried everyone earlier on the show and said that Cloud9 have locked it in for sure, but they have not yet. A win next week will secure their spot in playoffs. But for right now, Brazilian fans across the world and across the Americas region will be very happy knowing that Loud will be representing them in the playoffs. It's going to be fantastic to see them in playoffs. I think you heard it in the interview. There's an expectation they'll be one of our representatives to Tokyo as well. This team is looking unstoppable. And Sean, that's despite what you said, in them looking out of form in the last week and a half. They look out of form. That's the thing heading into playoffs. They will have to up, the, up their gear a little I bit agree. heading into playoffs. I mean, their opponents that they're kind of dropping maps off right now are a little bit you know, lesser opponents than the ones they'll probably be facing on this road to Tokyo. So. While a win today is great for Loud, it secured their playoff berth, 
I'd like to see more out of them entering, you know, as we get closer to playoffs here. There's almost kind of a, a, an opposite trajectory, I think, between them and some of the teams they beat early on. For Loud, they've continued to win, but they've looked weaker in form compared to both Cloud9 and NRG that Loud has already beaten, who have really uh, found a 180 in their gameplay and have looked incredible. And those are two teams that I would expect Loud to play in playoffs if they can clinch it. Oh, yeah, for sure. There's the schedule for next week. What we're going to be seeing on Friday.